Hi everyone, so for today's video I am going to be doing questions that I have never answered before slash questions that I've been avoiding, not really avoiding I wouldn't say, just ones that I wouldn't usually answer because I feel like it's sort of a personal situation or a personal subject but I thought today I would just answer them for you. So I put out on my Instagram yesterday or the day before, ask me some questions that you think I've been avoiding. It's going to be a bit tricky to actually read them out because I am filming on my iPhone um and also the questions on my phone but i am still gonna do it so yeah if you want to see then please keep watching and make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but let's get on with the questions i've been avoiding so the first question that i'm going to be answering is what is your biggest insecurity slash are you insecure about anything about yourself i definitely am i don't really ever like point out anything because i almost feel like if you start to point out your insecurities then other people will notice them and maybe comment on them and obviously that would make you feel like 10 times worse about them than you already do one of my insecurities is something a bit personal is my chest um i'm not going to say the actual word because don't know if you're probably not allowed to say that in the videos um but you know like my chest here um so i am quite big there um and being quite short which like brings me on to my next question um i'm quite short in height i'm only five foot um i feel like it just doesn't really look right and i'm pretty insecure about it i don't like the way it looks in outfits i have a really hard time wearing you know tops that i want to wear because i feel like i'm just like exploding out of them and i look too big and i feel like it makes me look fat so yeah that is definitely one of my biggest insecurities i know you can get things done like a breast reduction but i'm also pretty scared of surgery so i don't know if that would ever be like something i would think of also another insecurity that i actually used to have which i'm not so bothered about anymore was my nose obviously a lot of people have like a really nice shape not a lot of people but like some people have a sort of nose that like you know goes like that. and i didn't really ever have that my nose is more straight it doesn't really like stick out but it's more straight um it's probably like really minor to like, other people but and they might not notice it but to me that was something that i was always insecure about was my nose especially from the side i really didn't like the side of my face but as i've got older i just don't really think about it anymore and i sort of just like don't take pictures from the side if i don't want to because i feel more confident from the front so the next question was why did you delete all of your posts on instagram or like why did you archive a lot of your old instagram pictures um and i can't really say there's actually a reason for it i honestly just wanted to start a new feed so it's not as exciting as maybe you was hoping but yeah i didn't like delete them for any reason and as i got older i didn't really want so i guess there is a reason i didn't really want to have pictures of me when i was like really young on there because i sort of wanted to be like seen as like a new like fresh person not as just someone like that i was when i was younger so i guess that's the reason so this question is what is your first period story so i thought i would answer it because i've never really spoke about periods before or anything like that on my youtube because i was always quite young but i'm literally 19 so it's not a big deal um i was 14 when i got my period which i think actually is quite old i'm not sure but the story was I was shopping with my mum in some shops and I was in a coffee shop. I'm not sure if I can say the name of it because I don't know if that will get like monetized, but I was in a coffee shop with my mum and I kept getting like bad stomach pains for like the week before that. And then I was in the toilet in this coffee shop and then I literally just like saw, you know, yeah. So that is the story of when I got my first period. Um, yeah, it wasn't that great because like I said, I just started it. So I obviously didn't have anything like to, you know, wear or anything. So I just had to go home and like, you know, sort myself out. So this one I thought I would answer. It's not really a like question I've been avoiding because I've never ever seen this question before or never heard of this before. Um, but someone said, I've just seen you on Tinder. Just wondering why you would have any reason to be on there when you're already known. Um, thought that was a bit weird well first of all i'm not on tinder i actually have a boyfriend so i'm definitely not on tinder and even if i didn't have a boyfriend that would definitely not be something i would be on because i personally don't like dating apps i think they're kind of weird so that is definitely not me i mean i am quite you know known on social media so it's very likely that someone is using my picture 
and pretending to be me or just using my picture so I'm definitely not on tinder just thought I would put that out there because yeah that's just not something i would do are your parents divorced so no my parents are not divorced i feel like people always ask a lot of questions about my mum and dad you know like do you have a mum even things like that because um my mum doesn't really like to like be on social media she's a bit like more shy my dad doesn't really care he has his own instagram and everything um but my mum doesn't really like to be on social media so people don't really see her as much and i guess that maybe would give the impression that my mum and dad are not together but they are together my mum and dad have been married since i was two years old and i'm 19 now so that's a pretty long time they're definitely not divorced and i don't think they're getting divorced either i hope not so this question is do you ever wish that you didn't enter the spotlight or like other questions are similar like do you wish you like wasn't famous or anything i don't really consider myself as famous to be honest i don't really like that word i just don't like it i feel like it's too overused um yeah i definitely do wish sometimes that i wasn't in the spotlight because there's like bad things about it i didn't really choose to be in the spotlight like i wasn't obviously like made to be in it but it was just a silly video and i didn't expect it to explode as much as it did so no i never really wanted to be famous or known not famous sometimes i get a bit bothered if you know i'm out in public and someone recognizes me um obviously i'll be really nice to the person because i understand that they're a fan of me um and i'm not annoyed with them at all but sometimes i wish i could just be like not known because i'm actually a very shy person which probably seems surprising because you know i do youtube and i post pictures but just because someone does that doesn't mean that they're like really confident in their self and they don't feel like shy and embarrassed so like for someone like me it's like my worst nightmare when like people are looking at me and stuff and talking about me so yeah i definitely don't like it sometimes okay so i wanted to answer this question because i think it's really weird um why do you dress like you're 25 when you're still a child this really doesn't make sense first of all I'm not a child i'm 19 i'm an adult uh second of all i don't really know how you can dress like you're 25 specifically i don't didn't know that 25 year olds dress a certain way um but there's also not much difference between a 19 year old and a 25 year old another thing i don't even think that i dress like really you know obnoxious for my age because there are so many people so many people on instagram that do dress really like old and a bit much for their age and i definitely would not say i'm one of them i'm a bit shy like i said so i definitely would never like dress like that or anything so i think that question is quite relevant and also doesn't really make any sense but i thought i would answer it for you just to you know let you know why were you homeschooled i actually wasn't homeschooled like forever like I actually did go to regular school so i went to primary school um when since reception till like year four or five and then by the time i was in year five i was like properly going back and forth to america to do the ellen show and whatsoever so um it was kind of hard for me to like be in school properly and also do that but obviously my parents weren't gonna like let me miss out on education because that's just wrong so i always had a tutor and then when i come back to england i ended up being homeschooled from like year six until year seven and then i actually did go to a secondary school which i absolutely hated and uh if anyone from that school is watching this yeah i hated the school and you're all horrible so yeah i really don't care they were all really horrible to me at that school I used to be like mean and say mean things the teachers were horrible so yeah that was a really horrible school so i didn't go to that school for very long i soon left because i realized that everyone there was horrible and then i did homeschool until i obviously finished school which is at 16 in my country and then obviously you could go to college but i um, carry on doing social media so i didn't go to college but if i ever decided not to do it i would definitely uh become qualified in something because i would also want a regular job so there's your answer to that so that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i answered as many questions as like 
I could because there was quite a lot of questions so I guess I could do a part two to this video if you really want me or I could do assumptions about me which I also have done before on my channel when I was younger so you can still watch that if you'd like yeah I will see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one and please like always comment down below ideas that you want to see in my next video but I will see you next time bye